Hi guys, I'm gonna show you around Fire Station 36. Uh, so welcome. We're gonna start right here. This is our fire engine. And a little, little fact for you guys, fun fact, the difference between a fire engine and a fire truck, the fire engine, which is this one, uh, this is the one that has all the hose and it stores water to put out the fire. The truck is the one with that big ladder on top and it has a bunch of tools and stuff for like getting people out of vehicles and whatnot. So this is the fire engine. Some of the hose that we uh, pull off are right here on the side. So it's very easy. We just step out and it's right here for us. Um, this yellow thing hanging down, it's called a Plymo vent. And what it's for is when we pull in and out of this garage, this engine produces a lot of uh, diesel exhaust, so we don't want to be breathing that in. So when the engineer comes in, we'll hook this up to the exhaust pipe and then all the exhaust will come in here and travel through and go outside of the station so we're not breathing it in. So this is our kitchen. We cook meals here every day uh, because we're on duty 48 hours at a time, if not more. So for two days, uh, we need to be responding to calls, which means we need to eat. So it's just like your typical kitchen that you probably have in your home. We've got um, two fridges because we've got a lot, of, a lot of guys here. We have a grill. I personally like to barbecue, so I definitely use the grill a lot. So that was the kitchen. Now let's take it upstairs. I'll show you guys where we sleep. All right, so this is the upstairs. This is the third story of our fire station. And this is where we sleep at night. Uh, but like I said, we're here for two days and we get calls throughout the day and night. So if someone calls us, we have tones, alarms that go off. So this is one of the rooms. We have um, four different uh, bedrooms up here with multiple beds. So if you come in here, this is where we sleep at night. It's got a little fire department. <laughs> engines and hydrants on it. If there is an emergency, this is where the fire pole is. 